the Cam Cam. before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Yanid Burli, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. Impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> When they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. <laughs> and thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show.
A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk, with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchu and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> of the such incredible, completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow Underground, the duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. 
our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish you would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet Artyom, no? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, please, you go. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No. Artyom? Right Looks like you're money. a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft woman. Right? Refugees again. More refugees. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. Two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink, Artyom. Ah. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there. No food, and we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order, and everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter, no rich men, true, but no beggars either. Another drink! And now, to equality! Come on, Artyom! No, 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 no! Pay that now! Ooh, хорошо прошла! Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes! Yes, look, look at the far stations! They freaking eat each other! Sell their kids at slaves, it's like the Stone Age! Death to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order! is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Come on, Artyom, come on. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, comrade Major. It is, Private. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, just you wait. Move it! Hey, stop that, blyad! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. We, the people of the Red Line, Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. 
Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move it! Look, that's all. You're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you and you need information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, I too. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This ranger here, uh, Sigmund. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. <sighs> Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cutting chains, hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonia. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything.
I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. Well, good luck to you! Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Gorbut, is this whole fucking metal truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Frontal assault is hopeless, but if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Surrender! Surrender! Right. 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 Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him for this? 6 
Shaking. The manual says it's the red one. So that's the one you cut. You cut it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Is your pants already? <laughs> you watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. is it gonna take? Almost there. Scared, huh? Hey, get off my case. Let me think. Well, I see this is taking forever. So I'll go take a walk in the meantime. Alarm! Enemies here! Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They've multiplied like crazy. So you go and do it! On the double! Yes, sir.
work. Probably the usual shit about safety precautions. As if we didn't sign in the book. We did, so what good is that? One asshole got run over by a crane last week. No, he lost an eye on the cable bro. That was last month. I'm talking last week. Oh, now I understand why they're going on about safety like that. That's my line. Who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission? Well, yes. I wish they'd fix that damn radio or something. It makes me uneasy, you know? Some kind of a noise. Hey, what the? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? my words. It's the only thing that kept me alive. What the hell happened? Why? You don't know about the place? Sure, I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was one hell of an incident. The guy said...